Hello guys, welcome on Tesla Adventures. In this video, we will derive the relationship between Young's modulus, modulus and of rigidity and Poisson's ratio. So let us assume <coughs> that there is a cube. This is a cube and its base is fixed. We have fixed the base of the cube somehow. And now we are applying a force F on its top surface and we are displacing the top surface with respect to the bottom surface which is stationary. So when <coughs> this top surface will be displaced slightly by a distance of x, let's suppose that this distance is x, then <coughs> as the bottom surface is uh, at rest, it is stationary, therefore there will be this angle formed, this is phi. And you must remember that this tan phi is also called as uh, strain, shear strain. And this tan phi is equal to this displacement x upon this length L. So let us assume that cube has a length of L. So tan phi will be x upon L. <coughs> and for a small displacements, this tan phi is equal to phi approximately. Okay, now, now we... Uh, concentrate on the diagonals of this face diagonals of this cube so let us assume this face diagonal AC and BD <coughs> now you can see that this face diagonal which has a original length of root 2L is elongated as the upper face displaces and this elongation in this face diagonal is this one so let us name that this elongation is X dash this is X dash Okay, so x dash will be equal to x, this is 45 because we are assuming that for small angles, this angle and this angle will be same for a small displacement of upper face, this angle and this angle would be same. So we can say that x cos 45 is equal to x dash, so x dash is equal to x by root 2. Okay. So this is uh, x dash, this one. And similarly, this will be also x dash. And this will also be equal to, this is 90, this is 45, and this is x. So this x dash again will be equal to x cos 45. Now we can see that strain produced in AC will be, change in its length c the original ac was this and the new ac is this ac dash so the change in length of ac is x dash and its original length was this one so this is root 2l so strain in ac will be x dash upon original length which is root 2l so it is equal to x upon 2l this is strain in ac Okay, now we know that, that uh, this strain in produced in AC, so now if we are considering this AC as a length, so we can say that this strain <coughs> in AC, this uh, X by 2L is a strain in AC and we can say that strain produced in an object, uh, shear strain is equal to shear stress upon neta, where neta is the uh, <coughs> modulus of rigidity. And this shear strain is equal to phi. Okay, so we can also say that this tan phi is phi is equal to x by l. So this x by l is equal to phi. So phi by 2 is the strain produced in AC. Okay, and this phi is equal to stress upon neta. So we can write down it as stress upon 2 neta. So this is the strain produced in AC. <coughs> now, now, if we consider this AC as a length, then we can say that uh, that strain in AC is equal to the strain uh, uh, the longitudinal strain 
लॉन्गिट्यूडनल स्ट्रेन प्लस लैटरल स्ट्रेन ऑफ बी डी इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नोट दैट बी डी एंड ए सी आर परपेंडिकुलर एंड इफ वी डिसप्लेस दिस बी डी देन ए सी विल इलांगेट ड्यू टू द लैटरल स्ट्रेन ड्यू टू बी डी वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द लैटरल स्ट्रेन एंड लॉन्गिट्यूडनल स्ट्रेन सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इफ वी डिसप्लेस दिस बी डी along this side uh, and therefore <coughs> this bd will uh, be compressed by a distance of x dash and due to this compression of bd the face the diagonal face diagonal ac will be elongated by this distance and this uh, strain in ac due to bd due to compression of bd is called as lateral strain and longitudinal strain in ac is strain due to the self extension so we can say <clears throat> that strain in ac will be equal to <laughs> the longitudinal strain in ac as well as the lateral strain in ac due to bd okay so longitudinal strain strain plus we can write down that lateral strain is equal to poisson's ratio into longitudinal strain so this is poisson's ratio sigma into longitudinal strain see i am again telling you that what i have done that i have written this <coughs> lateral strain of bd as sigma into longitudinal strain of ac because the lateral direction the perpendicular direction of bd is ac now we can take this common longitudinal strain and we can write it down as 1 plus sigma and this is total strain in ac <laughs> now we uh, see that total strain we have already calculated that it is equal to stress upon 2 nita so this is stress upon twice of nita and this is equal to stress upon gamma young's modulus so cancelling this stress this gamma is equal to 2 nita into 1 plus sigma this is the required relationship which we are uh, we have proved gamma is equal to 2 nita into 1 plus sigma okay now in next video i'll be uh, coming up with more such relationships between elastic modulus thank you